Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a CWA CCS enrollment. To do this, you can either go to the child or the guardian's details page. Then you're gonna click on the enrollments tab. You're then gonna click here to add a new CCS enrollment. Select your service approval. Select the arrangement type complying written arrangement. So this is the arrangement type that is sent to CCS and to the Guardian's MyGov account to receive CCS entitlements. If you're on the child's page, you can select the Guardian from the drop down box. If you're from the Guardian's page, you will then need to select the child from the drop down box. Select the session indicator. So both routine and both, you will need to define the routine bookings. If the child is just simply coming on a casual basis, you can select casual. Select the start date of the enrollment. Now just be aware that CCS will not allow you to submit a CCS enrollment for a future date. So if you would like to have it submitted, for the Guardian to confirm in their MyGov account, you would need to put a date from today or in the past. You can keep the end date blank as it's not a mandatory field. Select the Guardian as the signing party. And then you can click define routine bookings. This allows you now to set up the routine booking pattern. If the child is not starting, for example, another week in the future, you can select the start date for when the bookings are going to start. Select the room and the booking type for the days the child is going to attend and enter in an end date. This may be to the end of the year. Then you can click save. Now that you've completed that CCS enrollment, you can now click save again. This will submit that enrollment, the 200A notice, to CCS and to the Guardian's MyGov account. They will then need to go into their MyGov account to confirm that enrollment. Once the enrollment has been confirmed, you will see the entitlements for that enrollment below. So for example, it will outline the CCS percentage, the CCS hours per fortnight, the CCS apportioned hours per fortnight, the CCS hourly rate cap increase if applicable, and if the CCS annual cap has been reached. If you require any further information on how to create a CWA enrollment, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.